In this video, we're going to create HVAC zones using space separators and spaces, as well as a space schedule. Uh, so we're going to be in the Analyze tab today, uh, here in the Space and Space Separators. You can use space separation lines to create multiple areas from one large area. So we're going to split up uh, essentially the first 15 feet of the interior space from the exterior walls, and those will be our HVAC exterior zones. All right, so we'll start with a space separator. Uh, so like anything else, we have our, our drawing tools here. We're going to use the pick line with a 15 foot offset here. And that will let us project a 15 foot line from the interior of this wall. So you see that as soon as I hover over the interior of this wall, you look 15 feet below my mouse, you'll see a blue line, you'll see a blue dotted line popping up. So basically that's telling me I can click and it'll draw a line there. Uh, you need to be careful if you are too high, see if I'm just a little bit to the, the top of this wall, it's going to project my uh, space separator line up. So you want to make sure that you're uh, you know, actually choosing the direction that you want. I'm going to click my line there. And same thing with this wall. Make sure you're projecting the lines inward. And you notice that I am actually going to a piece of the wall uh, and not a window to create my line. And that's just so the space separator line runs all the way down the wall. If I hover over a window, you can see it only separates out to the size of that window. Delete that guy. Alright, so I'm going to 15 foot offset again. And don't worry if you don't. Uh, run the, the line all the way down. Uh, we can use the trim tool to essentially cut out, either extend the pieces or trim out the pieces that we don't want. So the trim extend tool is in the modify tab, and it's this guy here making a 90. <clears throat> so this guy has two functions. Uh, so say you want to trim off this piece and this piece. Uh, the trim tool is essentially you want to click on the two pieces that you want to keep. So you see I wanted to make this 90, so I clicked on this piece and the side piece. Same thing for down here, so I want to make this 90 degree turn here. And uh, secondly, it can extend. So I want to make a 90 extend this line and this line. So I can just click on this bottom line and this top line, and you see it extended both to meet. I'm going to do the same here. So this has a extend and a trim. So we're going to trim off this top and extend, but it's all at once. There we go. So now we have the 15 foot uh, exterior zone separated out. All right. So we want to go to the Analyze tab. We're going to create more space separators. Now we want to basically run uh, to the corners here. All right. So if you don't have a perfect 45 degree angle here to the corner, Say that you accidentally maybe offset one of the interior walls. It's not wanting to snap here. Um, if it's not wanting to snap, you can just hover over the corner and hit tab, and that'll unlock its uh, its its snap because it, it wants to be at 45 degrees. But if it's at 47 or 48, uh, then it, it you can hit tab to unlock it. All right, so now we have our space separator lines on the first floor. Next, we want to insert spaces. We will go back to the Analyze tab and the Space Zones here. Click on Spaces, and now anywhere where I set up a space separator or where there's a wall, there will be a boundary for a space. All right, so we're going to go through here, and we're going to place spaces everywhere where we will need HVAC. We'll need uh, cooling. So you see you'll have to add a couple spaces in, in the interior here, and also two for each bathroom. Then we'll want two in the electrical room. We won't need to condition the stairs or the elevator pit, so we won't need spaces for those. After you have your spaces inserted, we will create the HVAC zones.
So that is still in the Analyze tab in our Spaces and Zones here. So we'll click on Zones. And what this does is let you create HVAC zones. So for most of these, it will be one space per zone. But it lets you select multiple spaces. So this, uh, this area over here, this needs to be HVAC zone by itself. So I'll click on the one area and say Finish Editing Zone. All right, so now I see it's outlined here with a black border. So that means it's HVAC zone. So click on zones again, so activate the tool, and now I want to have an HVAC zone running on the south side of the building here. And this is three spaces, so I'll select them all, like so. And I see the black border going around all of them, and say finish editing zone. All right, so now you see we have two different HVAC zones here. If you select this, it points to each of the spaces. See this, this is a line pointing to each individual space. All right, HVAC zone. This guy, that's good. Create another one. Good. Create another one for this interior. So it's going to be both the uh, like receptionist desk and the area in front of that. Finish zone. This interior zone is one one whole zone to itself. Finish. and this upper north zone. There we go. Alright, so now that we have each individual zone uh, separated, we can go to the properties over here and say color scheme. Right now it's set to none. Alright, so we set it to scheme one, but we don't want spaces or rooms, we're actually uh, setting up HVAC zones. So and click on that and schema one, and now you see that my HVAC zones are different colors here. All right, and it looks like we actually forgot the restrooms. So the restrooms are all on one zone together. Say OK. And lastly, we'll do the electrical room here as a zone. OK, so now we're going to do the second level. It's the same process as the first level. So we have space separators with an offset pick line of 15 feet. Interior wall. Make sure it's projecting down. Uh, this area to the right is an exterior, uh, like a balcony, so you don't have to uh, put any spaces there. So once again, 15 feet from the interior, and then trim, so TR, trimming out the zones. All right, I'm going to go back to analyze, space separator, do the corners. There we go. Okay, next is the spaces. Uh, order that you put the spaces in does not matter. Um, we won't be using uh, these as room tags or anything that need a certain number. I uh, don't need one in this area here. This is a uh, chase. It's for mechanical duct from the rooftop unit. And we will put one in the janitor's, uh, like the janitor's closet here and the electrical room. Alright, so uh, now we will go to zones and create our HVAC zones.
Set the color scheme to HVAC zone, schema one. And make sure to get the janitor's closet. And that's the second floor. Lastly, we will create the space schedule. So your schedules are in the view tab. This is where you're going to create all your schedules from. So view. Uh, this one is going to be a schedules quantity. Click on that. And see, this has all of the available kind of default schedules uh, that will bring up the properties of each one of these things. So we want to scroll down the spaces. Uh, phase, you want to make sure this is set to shell, otherwise it will look for spaces in the tenant um, in the tenant phase, and it won't see any. So I'll say OK. All right, so on the handout, it gives you a schedule, and basically each column is a field that we need to add. So we will need to add the number. So don't forget, you can click in your field here and type the first few letters uh, usually do first two and it'll jump to whatever you're trying to find so we need number we need name area number of people level and finally zone alright so that is our fields now we will go to, uh, we will skip filter, we don't need to filter anything out. We will sort by, uh, this will give us all of our fields that we inputted. Uh, we want to sort by number. Um, everything else is good there. Appearance. Doesn't matter, I don't think this is going on a sheet. And we don't need this. Okay. And you'll see here that we have the uh, space number, space area, number of people. Now, this is all calculated out depending on uh, uh, square footage. So don't worry about if it doesn't match my uh, the numbering here or the numbering and area don't match the handout I gave you. Uh, I didn't make you put the areas in, in a specific order, so it's probably not going to match. So just know that basically this is how you would calculate number of people typical for your HVAC. And that is it for the HVAC zones.